Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to yet another stream if you're watching this on YouTube. Howdy! We just finished playing some Patapon here on Twitch. Good game on the PSP, very unique. It's like rhythm mixed with RTS mixed with some RPG. It's fun. It's good. It's a little grindy. It's made to be more of a long burn that you play in short increments. Not really a game that you play a lot all at once. <laughs> you know, because it, it does get pretty fucking grindy. Not a bad game. Very interesting. And speaking of interesting games, here is What Did I Do to Deserve This, My Lord? A game where you play as a... Not like a dungeon master. You make your own dungeons, uh, local heroes go into the crypt that you create, and you want to make... Ah, God, it's weird. It's like you're almost trying to make a cave that creates the best ecosystem possible to create the strongest monsters. Very fucking weird. Uh, right now what we're listening to is some ne <laughs> Never Winter Nights music. Apparently, it has some pretty good music by uh, Jeremy Soule, so I'll have to uh, check this out more in my free time, because it sounds, it sounds pretty good. Well, anyway, let's uh, shut that shit off, though. Alright, just making sure the uh, sound is still working, and uh, we are recording, and the title is good. Good. Everything is good. So, um, yeah, let's just dive right in. Right now, the aspect ratio is a little bit weird because the aspect ratio is different for whatever reason from when it's in game and in the main menu. Kind of strange. There's a little switch for it right on the uh, capture device, which, once again, this capture device is. I don't know. It's like uh, 20 bucks, 30 bucks. I feel like that's around the price point I bought it for. Honestly, not bad. I mean, I'm sure it's pretty easy to emulate. Um, uh, let's see. We have, a, we have a butt plug here, but let's, uh, let's go back. I think we'll just do an, an, a normal new game. The Japan Studio. Yeah, a lot of, like, really weird, super Japanese games on the PSP. Uh, NIS. NIS is the company that has some of the hands down, worse localization teams. And it's not that they're bad at translating, like in terms that shit's mistranslated, as much as it is, it's just very cringy. I, I can't explain it better than that. Alright, so we got display. Brief comment, birth info? Ah, oh, fucking no, okay. Found, got it, data. Pass save, auto save. Well, wait, would we want auto save? I mean, I guess we'll get prompted to save, yeah. We'll just keep auto save off then. Uh, let's oh X. Save this data. You need at least blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, Lumines. People seem to really, 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 really like online. I was not impressed. I really wasn't. Will be deleted. Yeah, let's delete that. Cool. All right, so it should be good. So let's do another save. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Pickle says, "All right, so you decide: chalky milk or cider." Ooh, a nice cider sounds pretty good right about now. It's it's getting close to fall. It's getting close to fall. Doing new data. Some new data. Good. And um, we have an almanac. And I think the almanac does show you a little bit of what you need. I think by tutorial, it's more of just like a single screen. So I guess we can look at that real quick. Oh, God. So we can we can look at this. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Having X be confirmed is fucking with me so bad. Because on a lot of these more Japanese style games, it's like reverse. So here you can see, uh, soil has a different level of nutrition or magic, right? Which 
uh, is infused by different plants or animals, flora and fauna. Yeah, it's it's more of creating uh, an ecosystem. It's this is a weird fucking game, guys. Slimes can become plants. Uh, then you have first level consumers. They eat the plants and the slimes, and then the really strong shit eats things down below. High nutrition soil creates slimes and plants. High magic creates a little wisps. You can kind of see the little lines of what eats what. You got lizard men, you got weird fairies, you got some sort of big ass ogre thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to be going through this in my spare time just to really learn the shit. Cause it's more, it's more deep than you would think, honestly. You have normal breeds, giant breeds. So when food is very plentiful, you have a lot of a little bit. If it's very scarce, you'll have a, uh, strong, like small amounts of very strong enemies. Because, you know, survival of the fittest and all that shit. Really weird, man. Really weird. So anyway, let's uh, let's just dive in. You'll you'll see it all. But I also need to kind of comprehend it as well. We could do training once again. I'll do that in my spare time. But first, let's see. Oh God. Do you want to continue the game, or perhaps start a new one? What do you mean, bed man's chamber? I don't know what this is. Is this just like an optional thing? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Well, we'll just go to the uh, the story mode. I'll try to figure out what this shit is in my own time. So he's dropping some mad slurds. No, I messed up again. You little. Fuck you, saying. Okay, so so what what's the background for this? So I think this is the. This might be the first game that was released statewide, stateside, but um, it was either the game that came out before this or after this, but it was called, uh, like, Holy Dungeon Keeper, Bad Man. And then they were like, wow, that is, title's terrible. Let's change it. How about, what did I do to deserve this, my lord? So this company, NIS, their localization team likes to throw in so much cringy, dated jokes it reminds me of Borderlands 3 on crack. So you'll you'll get a good feel of this. But the games are good, I swear. How's that? Spell of Revival? Now I can continue my game. This is old school JRPG stuff right here. So yeah, just a fair warning. Ah, you have awakened. You are the deity of demise, master blaster, creator and the destroyer of the universe. NIS, that, yeah, okay, so Lisa Marfe, you know it, yeah. They're, uh, I don't know what the fuck goes through their heads. Great games, great games, I'm glad they were brought over here, but holy shit. Um, anyway, you are the deity of demise, master blaster, creator and the destroyer of the universe. I shall call you the god of destruction, huh? Oh, are you the same god of destruction who helped me conquer the human world? I guess he's referring to the previous game, possibly? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you only look like someone I knew. In that case, allow me to introduce you myself. So I think I am right that the first game was for the PS3 and was just called, uh, like, ho yeah, holy crazy adventure, Batman. But then they were worried that they'd get sued by, like, Warner Brothers. <laughs> I think that's the backstory, honestly. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Did I just cancel that? You are such a wuss. At this rate, we'll never conquer the world. I think I just skipped a whole bunch of story accidentally. Once again, I'm used to circle being confirmed. So we'll uh, we'll just dive right in. Wait, what, a, what the fuck? Downloaded story. My lord, God of Destruction, are you ready? Yes. So he's been weakened. He wants us to... Uh, help him create the dungeons to kill the adventurers so he can slowly reclaim land. I'm pretty sure that's the plot. Holy shit, I wasn't expecting it to just skip the whole fucking story. Uh, digging for demons in all the wrong places. My lord, god of destruction, we have finally arrived in sweet Van Gehrig. Our journey of conquest starts here. 
Now, as I said before, I want you to brandish your pickaxe and build me an invincible army of monsters, which we will use to repel every invading human hero. I don't mean to doubt you, but you have completed your training, right? Okay. Huh? Where does this confidence come from? Is it because you've conquered the world once or twice before? Still, allow me to instruct you that the square button, button of the coffin, is used to dig. Please do well. Alright. So that happened. Beginner Rook level 2. Oh yeah, shit, I fucking miss it. I missed the quip. Something about where do I go to level up. Alright, so here. We wanna. Make. A little path. But we also want uh, these guys to kinda go back and forth. There we are. We made a little, uh, little homie. Um, I think circles are good. I don't know where I'm getting this information from. And then we want to make some of uh, these little, little bastards. And we pick him up somehow. How do I pick you up? Oh god. Uh... It's not that. I have an ominous inkling that heroes are coming soon. Shit. Oh wait, no, don't save screenshot. Oh my god. I want to cancel save. Yes. I guess you can go into the almanac anytime you want though. See, I'm kind of making some uh, skeletons, make some balls, they eat the slimes. The heroes are here. Please don't give them enough time to regret this. Wait, please don't give them enough time to regret this. I, say nay. I know you're the type of god who chooses nay or no for everything. That's good for a hardcore player. Anyway, heroes will come regardless of your preparatory sass. Now let's get ready to fight. I don't know how to move him. I, I know you're supposed to move this motherfucker to the end. Uh, Pickle says, oh yeah, I saw that you added Ghost Runner to your wishlist. Oh yeah, you were recommending it, so I uh, threw that on my wishlist. Yeah, I'll pick that up eventually. Right now, money's a little bit tight, but uh, I'm curious. No, I, I look I look through um my homies on Steam, see what shit they're recommending. How do I move you out of the way? Okay, there we are. Please place my throne in the safest possible location. If I get captured, our army will be at a loss. Please do your best to place me in a safe location. Is this the best location to place my throne? Hmm, I thought so. Seems like we have a good chemistry. Right. And you can still dig. Oh wait, is that it? Ah, you're... God damn it, this is way too fucking easy. You are remarkably skilled, I'm very impressed. I didn't know you had such prowess. Let's make even more monster servants. And fend off the next batch of vermin. Okay, you can upgrade our servants with dig power. Oh shit, okay. So you... It's a risk versus reward. Interesting, okay. I probably did not want to use so many. Um, I could just upgrade, like, the basic guy. Or the skelly boy. Okay, yeah, let's upgrade the magic thing. Fuck it. Is this fine? Yeah. Ooh, those are some sharp sounds. Those are some really sharp sounds for me, anyway. Not sure how sharp it is for you guys. A uh, rolling stone gathers all moss. Man Among Giants, Andre. I, I can't even, like, read the shit that quickly. I'm assuming it was an Andre the Giant joke. Alright, let's keep working through this, huh? So yeah, these plants, they, like... Uh, poop nutrients everywhere. 
I'm not really sure what magic it comes from. It looks like it's from comes from a dead hero. I do want to hold on to some of our shit though, if we can. Here comes the enemy. Oh, heroes only go down paths you've already dug. They won't go anywhere. Wait. Heroes only go down paths you've already dug. They won't go anywhere you dig from now on. Interesting. So I wonder if that means that you can dig shit to make more monsters, but they're only going to go into the path you first dug when you started the level. Anyway, there's no use in making more paths to make the dungeon more complicated now. Alright. Oh, I guess like once they start coming, it doesn't matter. Alright, please place my throne in the safest location. Right there, buddy. Sure, there's one. Yeah. Yeah. So I wonder if the leveled up uh, units. I wonder if the leveled up units stay leveled up from level to level, or if it's only, uh... For one level. Make another uh, skelly boy. Good! Alright, I guess he's dead. Nice. You're much faster than I thought, my lord. God of destruction, I'm pleased that I summoned you. Hark, the next pack of vermin are not a are a not-so-dynamic duo. See, there's the, uh, the Batman references. I don't know why. Or so my ominous powers tell me. Do you know how a typical JRPG party always walks in a single-file line? Well, not this time. Anyway, if you defeat these savior wannabes, there will be no one left to defy us. Please work twice as hard, because I shall proudly do nothing but watch, as always. Alright, so now we can level up. Level up the Skelly Boys. Fine, yeah. Gold fingered. Reckless is he fluke level 14. Broke here a wedgie. I'm already on my way out. Has anyone ever seen the video of the one chick doing sand up about what the fuck was she even doing sand up about? I, it was just very cringe. I mean, I know that's, like, not descriptive at all, but... Oh, God, I'll try to find it and post it in the Discord. Huh? The slime moss is acting pretty ominous. What do you mean? So you can see that little meter at the bottom. Showing how my, uh, environment's coming along. Oh, look at that. The slime moss is gold? Oh. Is that good? Once again, I'm, I'm clearly no fucking expert here. There's like a food counter in the bottom right. All right, we have a fairy girl. Nice. Pull your dicks out, boys. And we now have a lizard man. Nice. Oh, she has a nice little hidey hole. Good. I really don't know entirely what I'm doing. Uh, I mean, if that's not obvious. Once again, it's like a shockingly complex game. Although, on surface level, I feel like you could beat the first few worlds just by, you know, digging. Just digging a hole down. Uh, as you can see, our army formation by pressing the start button and accessing the Overlord army list. We're placing you right there. Are you sure this is where you want me to be? Yes. 
And they don't, uh, let's see, what do we have here? Over our Lord Army list. Interesting. Okay. Dungeon Quake, huh. What happens if I hit it? I'm kind of worried that like I hit it and then everyone dies. I'd rather that not be the case. Here we are, another another fairy girl. Porch is set. I wonder what that means. Oh, there's so much shit I don't understand. I probably should have done a tutorial first, honestly. The American Giant Moth is acting pretty ominous. Well, he is right there. So now he has to work his way back out. Unfortunate, so that means I have to uh, try to get some homies back out. Hey, we got a dragon, nice. Well, if you could, you could attack him real quick. Wow, did we really just lose? Holy shit. I guess we're gonna have to figure some shit out, huh? What was that? Did you just panic in the face of the first enemy party? No, just randomly expand the dungeon, increase and upgrade our servants in a stable ecosystem. Save enough dig power to upgrade the Anams. Guess we'll figure this shit out, huh? You want to restart from first stage of Area One Van Gehrig. No, oh, let's do let's do some uh, training actually. Uh, yeah, let's just dive right in. Alright, so from our almanac, what do we got? Mutation diagram, let's really look this. Predators on the prowl, threat of enemies and predators. Here's to you. I don't know what any of this shit means, actually. Interesting. Uh, let's see. He was once the ruler of the entire world until new continents sprung out of nowhere. His kingdom houses vast fortunes, and now new bands of heroes have taken up the charge of raiding over Lord Badman's home and bringing him to justice. He's also the one responsible for summoning the God of Destruction to this world once again. Got it. Fly moss. Most common plant in the netherworld, they play an important role in supplying nutrients for the food chain. Their linear migration has been the subject of research for many netherworld scholars, as has their increased rate of nutrient. They make buds, they can inhale nutrients from the ground around it within range of two feet. Gotcha. Alright. So we'll do we'll do like a um single tutorial. See if we can learn something. And go to the next one. I still don't know what Badman's Chamber is. Maybe that's like a bonus challenge mode or some shit. Yeah, this game was made in 2010. Holy shit. It's pretty late, right? In the uh, PSP's lifetime. Okay. So let's try out New Dungeon. Oh, I'm glad to welcome you to the superb training mode. How diligent of you, my lord, God of Destruction. Now let's get that pickaxe started, but before that, today I'll tell you why I summoned you. Are you ready to pay attention? As you can see, impudent human heroes will come one after another to invade my privacy. To defend me from the Sword of Justice, I want you to dig forth my dungeon and create an invincible monster army. My loyal servants, your monsters, your monster's creations will follow their instincts and defeat the heroes. You and I shall just be overlooking the dungeon where all those stupid invaders will suffer. 
now I shall teach you how to generate our precious monster servants. Monsters appear when you dig a block of soil with nutrients in it. Soil blocks that have a lot of nutrients look different, so please look closely. Well, seeing is believing. Let's try it out. This time, let's generate 10 of these green monsters by digging level 1 nutrient blocks. Blocks with green stuff like this are level 1 nutrients blocks. You can dig blocks by pressing the square button. Also, you can only dig blocks adjacent to already dug spaces. If you want to hear my explicit explanation again, just press the start button and choose briefing. Now, get your weapon. Get your... Where the fuck he said gear? Alright, cool. He just wants 10 of these. So let's make them without having to expand too much. There we go. Elohim Essayim. You have generated 10 gelatinous war monsters. They're called slime mosses. For more details, please look them up in the almanac later. You can browse through it from the pause menu or the title menu. Oh, as you dig soil, the number on the right side of the screen decreases. Did you notice that? That number is your dig power. If it reaches zero, you cannot dig any further. Next number over is the Badman army level. This is the total attack strength of all the monsters in the dungeon. My battle level is zero, but if any cute girls ask, it's more like 53 million. Also, if you can hold down the square button, you can continuously dig soil blocks. Gotcha. All right. I guess we'll do one more uh, tutorial, because that didn't really tell us jack shit. Out with the old, in with the nutrients. And see, this feels more my speed for tr uh, streaming, so maybe we can um, yeah, do this a few times, a few more than we did with Patapon. Once again, Patapon's good. It's just grindy, that's all. So you want to learn more about dungeons. What an ambitious scholar you are. Fine, let's learn about nutrient collection. Alright, so let's see. They suck out nutrients, they spit it out. Then the slime sprout sucks in more. And then the flowers do a lot. The flowers die, they spit out a shit ton of mosses. Okay. They make a little ecosystem. And then if they get a shit ton of nutrients, then you can make little skeleton crab things. Got it. Nutrients are carried all around the dungeon thanks to nutrient-carrying monsters. For instance, slime mosses suck up nutrients from the soil to maintain their vitality. They spit out any remaining nutrients onto soil blocks after they've maxed out vitality. This behavior is what makes the transmission of nutrients possible. That's the job of the carrier. Furthermore, when they are low on vitality, Slime mosses grow a bug. They grow flowers as well as Buds and flowers can inhale nutrients from a wider range of slime mosses. Flowers wither after a while, but when that happens, the flower will produce new slime mosses. The more nutrients this flower has absorbed, the more slime mosses it will produce. This a great cycle of life is the key to circulating nutrients throughout the dungeon. Once a new block once a block has enough nutrients, its level will go up, and a stronger monster will come out. Now, let's have slime mosses carry nutrients around and create a level 2 nutrient block. From there, please generate three monsters and defeat the heroes. For this exercise, you will have about two minutes before the heroes come. In order to save me from being taken to the surface, please build a strong army to take those sons of bitches out. Alright. So you want to make a few of these guys, but not like too many? They take in nutrients and also spit out nutrients. Do I want to leave nutrient blocks or what? Or do I want to destroy the nutrient blocks? Well, now they're just making more of them on their own.
Here we are. I kind of want to crack them before they, uh... Crack them before more slimes, like, absorb it. They'll look for it and, uh, eat that shit. These things eat the slime mosses, so I want... Or slime mosses, I guess? Because they need food. They need a supply of food. I'm just inkling that the heroes are coming soon. Please hurry. Yeah. Yeah, so they eat the slimes, but the slimes generate and suck up nutrients. But I'm not sure what happens if they eat all the slimes nearby. I guess they just die? I don't fucking know. I'm sure there's some sort of balance, and I just gotta figure it out. Right there. Wow. What a bitch. Oh, you did it, my lord, God of Destruction. Please <laughs> look at this. It is the fate of all stupid peasants who dare to rebel against us. Let's laugh. Now, the new monsters we have are called Omnoms. Slime mosses have the habit of moving straight until they hit a wall. Otherwise, they will never turn. Also, they can only inhale nutrients from the soil next to them. Thus, how you dig a dungeon affects how fast you can gather nutrients. It makes a huge difference. Once you've generated a monster, it will be unlocked in the almanac. Peruse through it from the pause menu. There you can get a good look at our monster servants. Whether or not it's useful, it's up to you. Okay. So let's uh, read about Omnobs, and then we'll try that mission again. Skelly boys. Well, we'll figure this shit out. There's also, like, challenges and shit, too. It's a surprising amount of content for a PSP game. Once again, like, games like these... Um... You know, like, tower defense shit, or... You know, things that you, like, pick up, put some time in, and put back down. I feel like they just really work for the handheld format, you know? Slime Blossom. Generically known as flowers, this form of slime moss doesn't move. Instead, they survive off nutrients in the ground within 3D feet. When they die, they generate new slime mosses. Sometimes they spit out a secreted, secreted object and attack enemies with it, or slimy stuff that will stop invaders in their tracks. They're often used for lowering the mobility of enemies. What is this American giant moss? Uh, this species of slime moss moves around in a very bovine-like manner. It can gather all nutrients from three feet away. They taste especially delicious, but be careful. They are loaded with calories. I guess the skelly boys get very powerful with those. Oh, shit. God damn it. Dude, that, that like, circle is canceled. It's really fucking me up, man. I'm so used to Japanese-style PlayStation games being a circle confirm. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be. Like, circle, yes, X, bad. Uh, the returning mascot of the Badman series. Again, they are named after the person who discovered them, not because they eat everything. They don't eat flowers when they are larva, and they enclose into pupa if they are sufficiently forced. One scholar pointed out that they don't enclose in open spaces. Alright, interesting. So now let's uh, go into this story. Badman's Chamber. I don't know what the fuck that is. I mean, should we should we try it? New game or start a new one? To the depth of dungeon. Oh, okay. So this is like a um, like a custom game. Okay, okay, that's all. Nice. All right. That's just a custom game. Let's go into the almanac then. Or no, no, not the almanac. Fuck the story mode. Holy shit. Oh, I guess we can read the story again. What we missed. 
I guess we start in the bottom left and kind of work our way clockwise to the giant castle in the bottom right. That seems to be what we're doing. The reason I have summoned you is naturally for the sake of world conquest. However, there will be many human invaders who claim to be heroes standing in my way. I need for you to dig forth my dungeon and generate servant monsters to build my invincible Batman army. Now let's go down to the dungeon and prepare to defend it against those heroic hypocrites. I believe that it is our destiny to begin our journey in Area 1, Van Gehrig. Why else would it be named Area 1? So please move me and choose an area. Amen, Ramen. Jesus Christ. Download a story. I don't know what the fuck that means. I kind of don't want to fuck with it, though. Alright, let's do the shit. Uh, so it's three stages. Got it. So we died on the last one. Wow, that really sucks. Begin a rook level two. Where do I get to level up? Yeah, so that is what he said. Okay. Aw, oh, hey, Layla. Hold up, my dogs. My dogs wants to hang out. I know what she's doing. What are you doing, baby girl? The rain freaking you out, baby. Alright, well, we have a lizard, man. I don't want to dig too much more, but we do need some skelly boys. So what do you think of this music? Is this cancerous or alright? I honestly can't tell. I'm debating it in my head. Alright, so we have the American Giant Moss? No, those are just dying things. There we go, though. We'll save the last three for uh, some bones. All right, we'll save you some time. That's the spirit, my lord. Fools who dare to rebel against the Batman army must be cold. Cool. So now we pick this fucker up, put him way down here. Probably down here would be better, right? That looks like it's a little bit longer, actually. We're gonna want to see if we can find more shit to be made. Hey, there we are. All right, one, two. Cool. And we have 200 to sink in. Probably the slime would be the best. Yeah. One. Uh. Dude, the slime is too cheap, though. We could we could just get a uh, Skelly Boy. Let's get better Skelly Boy. Yes. And next time we'll do slime. That's such a sharp sound. Holy shit. All right. Let's see what we're doing. Um. Give me a lizard, man. There we are. Yeah, they need a little bit of room to make a um, encampment. I don't know why. Um, I am just trying to figure this shit out alongside you guys. the enemy let's see don't go down paths okay so yeah if you they will go down the path and explore the areas that they initially set up so you can't like just keep digging to the side of them for them to get lost forever but there is an advantage to digging and that is to have like 
the you know, skelly boys and shit. And we are gonna make you right here. Yes. And let's see if we can get that before they uh fuck with it. Good. Alright, so he's dead. Alright, I guess he's dead already. You're much faster than I thought, my lord, god of destruction. I am pleased that I summoned you. Park the next pack of vermin or not, so dynamic duo. Yada yada yada. Alright, let's try not to fuck this up this time. Hold oh, those up. Yes. That looks good, yeah? There we are, a little bit deeper for these guys. Let's get a Scully boy right there. Nice. Scully boy, just like Agent Scully. Alright, that looks kind of alright. What is this? What am I looking at? Oh, did I just make a skeleton? I think I did. Okay. Oh shit, I can, uh, with the corpses, I can make shit for all of them. You can see our army formation by pressing start. Yeah, got it. I'll place you all the fucking way over here so you don't get fucked up. Here we are. What happens if I hit that? Holy shit, these fucking things are strong. Alright, I guess they're- okay, wow, that went way better. Okay. I guess just understanding it a little bit more was all I needed. Let's start advancing and taint the terrain in the most ominous colors. Well, you can just sit and watch. After all, public relations is my job. Oh, there we go. We got a B. I'm not sure what that means. Cute, simple, interesting. But yeah, there's a couple of these games here. Um, I guess like three of them were translated, and I feel like two more were never translated. I think they were the later ones, honestly. Which, uh, I'm sure there's like fan translations, you can probably find it. There we are. Wow, we we killed that whole fucking continent. Jesus. That means there's only five stages, and whatever's coming out from the, in, from the uh, center. Criminy, something has appeared. Is it a Neverland monument in honor of that guy who never grew up? Just kidding, it's actually the tip of a Netherworld monument. The Overlord Castle, my fiendish fortress. Every time I annex a new land, some stupid sacred seal will weaken and my home will gradually reveal. Heroes tend to think that they can get away with anything, as long as it's a part of convention. That is so wrong. 
Anyway, once you have vanquished all of the heroes and the castle fully reveals itself, the world will be mine. I hope. Now, in the name of our brilliant tomorrow, why don't we aspire for world conquest? Wait, does that mean there's only, like, fucking... Five worlds? That'd be a very short game. Oh my goodness. Alright, well... My lord, god of destruction, are you ready? Yeah, I guess so. Let's dive right in. Marquis de Serre. I don't fucking... I don't know. I don't know what that means. French is a dumb language, what can I say? Uh, we are now in Area 2, Marquis de Serre. What's the difference between this place and the last? As you may ponder that, look at the ground and the depth of... Were you thinking, if this is a different place, the color of the soil should be different too? My lord god of destruction, if you are a god, you know that is purely ornamental. You truly are wise. Now vigorously brandish your pickaxe, lord of the dig. Alright, let's do this shit. Badman said knock you out. Cute. Cute. True here, Dwight, I will be... I, I can't even read this shit that fast. Let me look at the re-upload. I will be assistant regional manager. She would stay up a little bit longer, you know? You know you can invite humans anytime you want by poking the entrance to the dungeon. If you defeat an enemy quickly, you'll get a bonus. If the Batman army is ready for battle, let the enemy in early and beat them. Alright, interesting. So quite a few uh, gambling mechanics here. Are you sure this is where you want me to stand? Yeah. I wonder how much that fucks me up. There we are. Uh, I see, you're getting used to it now. You never cease to amaze me, my Lord God of Destruction. You know how I always warn you a little before the invaders come into our secret dungeon? Has that been useful? I'm very precise with everything I do. I always give you a 15 second notice before the vermin arrive. Now, these 15 seconds, you can waste them any way you want, or you can use them wisely, my lord. Uh, alright, well I guess we will... level up our magic, boys. Now, why not? We have the magic shit which is more pricey than the nutrient shit, but the nutrient shit is easier to get more comprehensive. Or we could just get the slimes because they're the most plentiful. Um, I don't really know. I guess we're about to have a lot of these sprites, so let's make these. Let's go for it. Bugs, mmm, tasty. Existentialist Satcher. Uh, there's no faith like bad faith without a cause. What are you doing here? I, I don't know. I'm guessing these are just really weird, obscure bullshit references. Only these morons get. Alright. Activate that. What does that do? Okay. That out. Now we have a pixie bitch. Good. Oh shit, I think I destroyed instead of living in hatch. Alright, we need to not do that.
There we go. And we're gonna want to increase this if we can. Oh shit, I have less than 200. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, uh, oh shit! I completely fucked that up. We now have multiple ways to get down. Um, in that case, we'll just... Something like that? <laughs> Makes sense to me. Alright, let's see if this trio works. If not, I just seriously fucked up. Press the L button, you can quickly move the pickaxe to me or one of the impertinent heroes. You may want to use this function when multiple heroes are invading us. Gotcha. Right away. another skeleton around? Oh, I guess they're just fucking dead. Alright, that's good. Ah, there's one. Okay. And we have something there. Oh shit, they can't find him. Um, at least for now. I feel like they're about to grab her, which is bad. Which means we should focus on getting these guys nice and fucked up. Yeah, if you guys can, like, save my ass, that'd be really appreciated. Oh shit, they died. Okay, good. And I guess he's just running away? Okay, no, okay, shit, he died. He's trying to run away right outside the exit. Poor little fucker. Okay. Our enemies are so feeble, it's almost sad. Compared to conquering Van Gehrig, those two rats were like paper targets to you, my lord. And since there will be a group of three in the next battle, I trust he can still handle those. Yeah, well, shit. Yeah, we can't upgrade anything. That might really fuck me in the asshole. Resident, not so good. Jesus Christ. Uh, lead guy, Indy. This belongs to the museum. Once again, what was briefly yours is now mine. Pen is mightier than the sword. Oh, yeah, God. Alright, alright. I get it. I get the reference, bro. Um, what else can we do here? I need, like, more slimes. Looks like our pixie game is pretty fucking strong. Yeah, there's a lot of strategies here, I just don't know them, unfortunately. Populate this area though. Yeah, it's kind of hard to keep the slime count up, it really is. Lizard boy. Hey, we got a lizard boy. Now he has some closure. Good.
Zoom out, triangle, plus heroes and I will be surrounded by circles. How convenient is that? Good. Uh, yeah, this is a very open, open-ass dungeon. Yeah, just there. Yeah. There we are. There we go. Okay, and then one shit here. There we are. We should be able to make a nice little enclosure. Nice. Yeah, I feel like we're good. I feel like we're set, honestly. Right. We have a nice little enclosure there as well. Good. Oh, what is this? Can we make a dry? Holy shit! We have something crazy going on right here. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Hopefully they go back through here. Alright, they got it. they got the dude, but uh I guess we'll should be fine, right? Hopefully. Maybe. Um There we go. Okay, I guess we, we did good. We did good apparently. This is great, my lord god of destruction. It doesn't matter if there are two or three rats in our maze. Now please be fascinated by Batman the Magnificent, who walks the world destroying everything in this path. Okay, we got a C. We got a C rank. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to figure out more shit through the tutorials. It seems like a short game, but... Where you either just can't beat it because you don't quite understand the whole ecosystem mechanic or do you understand the ecosystem mechanic and you just burn through this thing because we are what like a third through it already holy shit once again i think this was an earlier game in the series so i think um and it's a very short-lived series i think only three of the games were translated and the other two were never never seen in the west but people seem to really like them there is something oddly satisfying about it. It scratches like that balloon's tower defense itch. Ah, the wind is tranquil, the ocean violent, the land fully nourished with a putrid sense, how glorious. But we have no time to dwell on past glories, we must move on to a new area. Ah, the frontier spirit. The only reason for you to exist here is to brandish your godly pickaxe. Alright, dick. Yeah. Because this one says area... Well, this says area 9, you know what I mean? So I wonder if there's actually 8 areas total? Possibly? Potentially? Damn, I was thinking it would be like half the continent at a time, not the whole fucking continent each time. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, I think it's gonna be... about it. Once again, the first part of any... Uh, stream re-upload I throw on YouTube for any game. I kind of like to keep it on the short side to generate more of those, uh, those sweet succulent clicks. We're gonna save here and call it. I guess, I guess we have been streaming for, what, like two and a half hours? Not bad. I will be, we will be going back to this game, though. I'm curious, but between this time and next time, I'm gonna do some more of those tutorials. Much like what I'm doing with Mortal Kombat 11. Great game, by the way. I'm really... Thoroughly enjoying Mortal Kombat 11. Sick, sick game.
Anyway, that's going to be it for the stream. I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit me up on YouTube to watch those uploads. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to follow me on Twitch. Uh, the Discord is right here, as per usual. Anyway, thanks again. Next time, we are going to finish Hylix 2. That might be an extra long stream, depending. And then... And that's going to have to be a standalone, because those... Dude, every time I stream Hylix, it's like a 40 gig file. I don't understand it. It's like the amount of video... The visual information just recording is so high, it's insane. And uh, then the following time, we'll do an extra long uh, stream of Iron Maiden. And then we'll do some uh, Mortal Kombat the next time. And then we'll get back to this game. Anyway, thanks again, and have a good one, guys. Peace out.